Hello again folks, welcome back to the next episode of Joxa playing Skyrim, the Argonian Assassin. In the previous episode we talked to the Greybeard who told us to go and seek the Shrine of Jorgen Windcaller and get his horn, which was the final test. And uh, I dropped by uh, the Ladystone near Falkrith because I figured out I'd like slow down the leveling process a little bit because I've been leveling like crazy and this way I can focus a little bit on the game instead of feeling rushed in anything because right now for instance my smithing is like horribly behind but yeah it's, it's going nicely I'm very pleased and I'm, I'm looking forward to see the lady stone in action a little bit uh, I'm at a guess having the lady stone and his skin is this probably gonna break the game like like seriously that's probably gonna break the game but it's gonna be breaking the game in a good way <coughs> so I'm just following this road and then north and then we're gonna go past the land near Whiterun and north I'm avoiding the labyrinthian because last time I did that it didn't go too well Um, if any of you have a suggestion for a standing stone to take instead of the lady stone, I'm all ears. For now, I'm thinking that I'm going to stay with the lady stone until I've got a good uh, amount of <coughs> uh, good amount of stamina and health. Um, I'm not taking a lot of magic out to be honest. I'm not too interested in that. So that's basically all I really want. And once I have it, it's it should be perfectly fine. Uh, I'll maybe get myself the steed or something, the steed stone. No armor weight reduction and plus 100 extra carrying space, which is always nice. I'm, I feel like I'm always running out of carrying space because I tend to loot everything. <coughs> oh dear, what is this? It's a naked orc. Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. What are you talking you about? Find a skooma, the oh gosh, no, I'm sugar. nope, 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 At nope. A fair price, of course. Nope, I'm not doing any of that. That's a one-way ticket to problems. Why did I just jump off my horse? Get back on. Thank you. <coughs> Let's see. Oh wow, they even added some trees here. I, I haven't really been here with the uh, summer mod, so this is new to me, and I like it. It it feels very um, uh, natural. I like it. Normally I'd get attacked here, I think, which is throwing me off a little bit. Usually I get attacked here. I guess not. I'm not complaining, mind. I'm just surprised. Okay, folks, I'm just gonna go and fade out and fade back in once something actually happens. So, one second. And something is actually about to happen here. Uh, I believe there's an ambush here, and I'm completely gonna be ignoring the ambush. Just go straight past, because we definitely do not want to fight. Maybe later. Just doing a little bit of a zigzag. <coughs> Up ahead over there, where the big crater is, is actually a bandit fort, which should be coming into distance, or coming into view range any moment now. There we go. I can probably fix that type of problem by adding the cell distance to the, uh, loader, but that usually ends up being nothing but problems and, you know, corrupt save games. and That's something I'm really not interested in. Um, oh, there you go. <coughs> so yeah, I'm just fading out again until something happens. I just wanted to let you guys uh, see me run away like a little girl. So, one second. Well, that was very unpleasant. Um, back there is actually a little farm. And I just drove by and I used my, uh, my one button uh, thing to actually collect things while on the horse. Alchemy components. And it actually ended up grabbing like a cabbage or two. 
Which was a scene as me stealing. I kid you not. I'm like surprised about it myself. Crime. There you go. Halfingar. Four things stolen. I mean, what? Oh well. I'll just go and end up uh, selling off my bounty or something. I'll see how it goes or it turns out. But wow, that, that was kind of unexpected there. Anyways, uh, just a quick update as to what's going on. I was really surprised by that. I've never seen that happen before when you collect something from afar and it gets seen as stealing. Whoa. Anyways, uh, I'll be back once we do something. Looks like we have our first real enemy. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> This 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 should be fun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right, left. There you go. Nice cleaning up. Assassin. I'm pretty sure that's already from stealing the... Uh, let's just have a looky for the giggles. Uh, Dark Brotherhood note. Astrid. Astrid? Interesting. Oh well, um, I got myself a nice bandolier, so uh, yeah. There we go. Did she also drop any good weapons that I can use? Uh, damage. Not really. Not really. Oh well. Still, it, it, it was nice. It was a nice little takedown. The bandolier looks absolutely horrendous on me, but it gives me some extra space, so whatever. <coughs> and we're at Morthal, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, uh, Morthal has the uh, special mod where it looks all pretty and stuff. So, extra awesome. What's the Jarl going to do about it? There we go. So folks, I'm gonna go and pause again and run my little scaly behind over to... Um, what's it was it called again? The thingy area? Oh, there's actually smithy here now. That's really handy. And from there on you'll see again. So folks, one second. And here we are again, folks. I dismounted a little bit away from uh, the actual place because I know that there's a few enemies lurking about and I'm gonna try to do the best thing that I can do which is assassinate okay just from this distance it looks like those two are on that thralls it looks like They are all following her, which is really annoying. Uh, go for some venom. <laughs> that was pretty smooth if I say so myself. There we go. What do you have? I can put this on a horsey anyway, so that's no biggie. Anything else? No. No. Oh, there's someone dead here. There we go. And another person dead here. She's been busy, wow.
So as you can see that was pretty smooth. There was no problems there taking that down even though there were like several enemies. And I just put everything in horsey again and I'm more or less ready to go. Well, more or less. I'll loot this fellow later. Oostengraf. I'm actually looking forward to delve into dungeons with this character. Sneak around, assassinate. It's always so much fun. actually got myself a nice little brown cape. See that looks pretty good. And I'm using... Uh, again I can loot this guy but I'm just gonna go loot the easy stuff and loot the rest later when I come back. There's some fighting going on here which is kind of interesting. What are they doing? I have no idea what they were doing, but I really don't care. Wow, human flash. That chick had it going. interested in the iron shield. I'll come back for that guy later. Uh, mage robes, fear poison. Uh, some class loot here. Iron dagger, bread, iron sword. Not too interested in all of that. Black mage robes, crimson cloak. Iron Tonto. No. Q and you. Nope. There we go, it's not too bad. Oh, I forgot the barrel. Oh, spider eggs. It's a good thing I checked that barrel. I hope I can do a backstab here. Okay, let's go and test our Asuma trench knife and see if we can actually backstab with it. I'm not sure if that's a yes or no. I do know that that's a problem. Whoa! Try the Asuma trench knife again. Oh, 15 damage! So this indeed counts as a dagger. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice indeed. Uh oh. Oh, 
Why can't I shout? Oh, wow. That was a nice one. It wasn't too bad, actually. We definitely want to upgrade our Asuma Trench Knife. Because that is currently our best weapon that we have. Asuma Trench Knife, there you go. And where are you? He's over here. And I'll put that on one. Does the same amount of damage, but it looks cooler. And I can actually upgrade this one still. So, not too bad. Ooh, that poor girl. Oh, never mind, it was a necromancer. Sorry! It's just a necromancer. Empty, empty. Hey, that's nice. Empty. Why did I open it? Empty, empty, empty. Empty, empty, empty. Wow! Not a lot of luck today. Just 20 gold. Nope. Empty, 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 empty. Earn. Empty. Nope. Empty, 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 empty. Ah, uh, whatever. Don't mind. And pearl earn. Okay, that had a ruby. That was worth it. it. Seemed like it wasn't worth it, but that was worth it. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I think I am. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, a little bit longer. And sure. Free loot is free loot. Loot is good. I definitely like having so much uh, stamina available. Really, are you just gonna go and stand there? Ugh. Oh, no, no, he's moving. Nope, he's gonna be derpy. Little bit of assassination action. So Iron helmet, not interested. Doing the sneaky, sneaky.
Wow, dwarven armor? That's pretty huge. Oh, this is just where I was below. Just gonna see about hitting the next area. There we go! Okay, folks, that's going to be the end of the episode. As you can see, we got quite a bit um, halfway through the dungeon already, and we got some nice upgrades. Uh, I'm very happy that we at least have a bandolier currently going. Uh, only thing I really want is a backpack and upgrade my trench knife. Uh, although I'm not quite sure what type of materials I need to use for that. But anyways, folks, that's all for the next episode. So, folks, as always, I'll be right back.